Can all locks be bypassed, either by picking or some other bypass technique? Well, the reality of it is most of them can, even the high-end, high-security locks. So do you give up? Nope, and I'm going to tell you why. I'm Robert with Acme Locksmith, and you're watching Locksmith Recommended. You know, recently we shot a video where I talked about some of our favorite padlocks, and I went all the way from the low end, $10 and under, that price range, all the way up to some of the high-end, high-security locks, a uh, couple hundred dollar locks, this one being one of our favorites by Multilock. But some of the feedback I got in that video really surprised me because even though I broke things down and said, okay, look, if you're looking for a low end solution, here's our favorite. A lot of people chimed in. How dare you recommend this lock by master lock? First of all, consider the application. Even low end locks that could be easily bypassed have an application. If you're just trying to keep your kids out of a cabinet because it has alcohol in it, $10 lock is going to be great for that. You just want to keep your neighbor kids from getting in the backyard through a fence so that they uh, aren't exposed to the pool. $10 lock is going to be great for that too. And when you consider this against all the other $10 lock options out there, this is still one of our favorites because it's built very, very tough. And yeah, it can't be bypassed, but it's about the application of the lock. But are any of these locks impenetrable? Even these high-end, high-security locks? I mean, here's a high-security lock. It takes a very, very special keyway to get into it, but we've seen videos on how to bypass this lock online. Mid-price lock, right around $50. Even this high, high-end lock, $300 lock. We've seen videos on how to bypass that. Why can all these locks be bypassed? There are people who make their living showing you how to get past locks. And basically what they do is they spend a lot of time on a specific lock, figuring out what its flaws are and how to bypass it. And then they create a video how to do that. In some cases, they actually dismantle and dissect the lock apart, figure out its flaw, figure out its weakness, and then shoot the video. There are thousands of types of locks and they're doing one video on each and every single one of them. They're going to tell you they're doing this to better the lock market so manufacturers can fix their weaknesses. But I don't buy that because what they do is as soon as the manufacturer comes out with a new lock solving the particular problem that was shown, they dissect that lock, take that lock apart, figure out its new weakness and then create a video on that. So if you ask me, what they're really doing is they're just trying to line their pockets by showing you how to get past these locks. Does that mean you give up? No. I have something I call the 90-10 rule, and that is that 90% of the locks can get bypassed using techniques that somebody can learn on the internet. And they're common enough that people may have knowledge to get into them or with a little practice be able to get into them. And then there's the other 10%. The other 10% are high security locks, locks that aren't very common, uh, locks that have been specifically designed so that you know they can't be cut very easily or got in with bolt cutters very easily. That's the 10% you wanna use if you're going to protect high valuables. Well, what about the mid-range? What if you want to protect your property and protect some valuables and protect people from getting into either padlocks or door locks, but you don't want to spend $200 on a lock? Well, this is where the sheer number of locks actually protects you. Because even though there are thousands of videos covering the thousands of different styles and locks out there, most people aren't going to remember those. So even if they watched all thousand of those videos, when they come to your house, they're not going to look at this lock and go, oh, this is padlock number X, Y, Z, and I've got to get into it using this technique and this tool. They're not going to remember that. They're not going to be able to visually look at this in most cases and say, oh, that's model X, Y, Z. They're not going to know. So the sheer number of options out there are in your favor. So if you're in the mid price range, you can still protect a lot of things by just buying a lock that's not very common. Don't in that case, go out and get a master lock because a lot of people will look at it and go, that's a master lock, I know how to do it. Get one by another brand, get one that's a little less common that you find at your locksmith shop. And it's gonna do a good job protecting you because when somebody comes, they're not gonna know the make and model and recall how to bypass that lock, even though there may be a video on it. I'm just going to interrupt the video right there for a minute. That padlock is actually a very great example of what I'm talking about. Even though the name of the manufacturer that we buy that padlock from is on the padlock, that padlock is sold under several different brand names. And if you Google the name that's on the lock, you're not going to find any videos on how to bypass that lock. However, there are videos out there on how to get past that lock. They're just under a different brand name. So unless you have the expertise to know what that is, you're not going to find any information on that lock. Now, the good news is if you want to protect your home and you want to make sure that your door locks can't be picked or bypassed very, very easily, but you don't want to spend $200 on a high security lock, there are a couple of great options out there for you. We've talked about them before. They're worth showing to you again. One of our favorite home locks is this deadbolt here. It's called a half deadbolt. Now, you may be looking at it and going, what deadbolt? Where's it at? Well, it's right here. It's a half deadbolt because it's only on the inside of the door. 
So can this lock be picked? No, absolutely not. They're not going to be able to pick this lock because there's no keyhole to pick. There's not even any indication that this lock is on the door. So this lock is 100% pick proof. In most cases, you need to get this half deadbolt professionally installed because they are a little tricky to install because you're only boring the hole halfway through the door. But it's a great lock if you want pick proof affordable protection for your home. The other lock that gives you some really good pick proof protection on your house is this flip guard. We actually sell it online on our website. This lock is good for a couple of reasons. One of them is it's very hard to remove. It takes a lot of force. Ugh. <laughs> See what I mean? To get off. So if you want to protect your home so that your little one can't just run outside the front door and get out in the, in the front yard, it's a great lock to have for child protection. The other thing is that most people don't realize is that when somebody uses a key to get into your deadbolt, that this thumb turn actually turns on the inside of the home. This little device, this flip guard, actually locks that thumb turn into place so that a key on the outside of the home can't turn that thumb turn. So this will give you 100% pick protection. Even somebody with a working key won't be able to get into your house. So this is a great little product that we sell online. So here are two very affordable solutions that make sure your home, your door is 100% pick proof. If you've liked this video, please click the like button below, subscribe to our channel, turn alerts on so that you get notified when we have new videos. I'm Robert with Acme Locksmith. You watched Locksmith Recommended.